Hi Libras, welcome back to my channel. I just want to say that my website, my emails are back up and running. I have no idea what happened. Um, all the readings that were purchased yesterday have been sent out today. All readings that I purchased today will be sent out tomorrow, guys. So I apologize for that. And you know, you know I'm like, Mercury retrograde isn't until May 29th. Like what's <laughs> going on here? But I'm back up and running. Let's see what's going on, Libras, for you for May. We have allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, passion, unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry to keep this relationship going. And then we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. We have bottom of the deck. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And then we also have at the bottom of this deck, Hermit. So you could be dealing with um, a Virgo. We have Hermit in reverse here. At one point, there was a lot of passion here, but it has turned one-sided. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There is a past life relationship. It's kind of like you're thinking about the past and it's just not working out. Like the next chapter that you want in your life, there's a disagreement here with this person. You know, it could be dealing with a water sign, a cancer script or a Pisces or a Leo here. You know, you want, you like, I feel like Libras, you want marriage. Like you want love. You want happiness. You want kids and all of that. And it's like this person just isn't trying to move forward in that next cycle and it doesn't have to be a relationship you know um marriage here it, it could just be you know you guys are dating you want more commitment um this person whew, it's kind of like in the past there's a interference here and i feel like this person had to walk away from for some neighbors i feel like you were the other person and they left someone for you and it's kind of lingering over your head like will this person leave me for someone else something like that here but it's like this person who once made you happy is now making you feeling unfulfilled and you want to walk away. But for some of you, you're hesitating because you don't want to regret this, which is why it's saying to ask your friends for help. You know, you kind of feel like you should leave this person. We do have the moon in the background of these two cars. The new moon is, I believe, Monday. Um so a lot of decisions here, Libra, just know that you don't have to do this alone. This could also be for the month of May, your person trying to leave a situation and come towards you. You know, it could be it, it could be vice versa. Like you don't have to be the other person. This could be them leaving the other person as well. You're going to hear from them and it's going to make you very happy here that this person left another situation that they regret putting themselves in. All right. So clarify the Six of Cups is past energy with the King of Pentacles in reverse. There's that Virgo, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Wands here. So there's where this passion was coming from here. Yeah, I feel like when you first met this person in the past here, you know, you instantly felt this um, instant connection, familiar, you know, with this person here. The world was in upright, you know, now it was in reverse, but in the past here, everything was going good. This person is... Um, King of Pentacles energy seems like they're very, very attractive here, you know, but very egotistical, really cocky in their heads. Like, they know that they're attractive here, you know. King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy, yeah. There's a burden with the world here that you're trying to let go, but you're not taking a risk. You're kind of angry at this person that they're not stepping up. Yeah, I feel like this person's definitely a player with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. And it's like you wanted this commitment and they just wasn't giving it to you. They just wasn't taking that risk you kept you know wanting to be with them here and i feel like for the month of may here there's balance that is going to be coming in there's going to be communication about this but for some i feel like you're not going to like it like you're going to move on here you're going to be like f it like if you can't give me that balance i'm going to move on to a king of cups energy you might meet this new energy in may there might create some conflict here on what you really want there's a lot of energies coming out in this reading guys yeah it's like you're having trouble walking away, too, for this month. It's like you're going to keep focusing on work, you know? Try to get out of the conflict. Try to get out of the drama. But you don't want to walk away from this person. Yeah. This person doesn't want to walk away from you because how you make them feel emotionally, which is why that Queen of Cups is showing up. But they know that they have to speak up on this shadiness here. We have the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands now. They're trying to... with the, eight of wands is it, like with the seven sorry <laughs> i was trying to pull this out with the seven of pentacles here so we have the seven 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 of pentacles seven of swords and seven of wands all in the same energy as with the strength card it's kind of like they're trying to rely on luck here 
with that angel number 777 to um, get them out of a situation. You could be relying on luck here, right? Getting swept off your feet type energy. Yep, that's exactly what you're doing here, guys. Hold on one second, Libras, because you have... This Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords wanted to come out. So you could have kids with this person, other air sign kids or something like that. Um, you could be watching this person. They could be watching you because, yeah. It's like what was once lost in the past is being revived. This person is trying to come in and tell you that, that they balance themselves out now. I feel like in the past, this person was a player. They chose you and you're having second thoughts. Like, it's a lot of... Um, Scenarios is popping up. If you're still with me, Libras, I know I feel like I'm all over the place, but wow, it's like you're both trying to get over heartbreak. And every time you work on this, there's a delay because of things that has happened here. You know, there's hesitation because of hurt of because of hurt. This person hurt you in the past or you hurt this person. But it's saying like you you know that you have to create this tire moment that's in reverse. Like you have to be able to take this foot forward and walk away from this past energy. You have to make up your mind, Libra. This energy is so back and forth. You're very indecisive for this month of May. It's saying to make a decision. Open up on what you want and let your friends help you through this. Let your family help you through this. You have stability in your corner. You have trust in your corner. You're just being selfish to getting this advice, Libras, yeah, make a decision, <laughs> you're juggling right now, do you want to heal, or do you not want to heal, you want to keep living in this regret, do you, or do you want to move on, right, five of cups, five of pentacles, justice in reverse, decisions, right, nine of pentacles in reverse, you're making yourself out of whack here, yeah, you have to accept this ending and move on for a minute, I feel like there's going to be an ending or you're moving on from the past relationship for the month of May. This is your healing period. You know, month of May is number five. So much of transition and change in the month of May here. And that's what's happening with all the signs this month. And not just you, but it's saying, to, again, pour this energy back into yourself with the six of cups. Get your wish fulfillment. Get advice here because, you you know, you have the plan. It's showing up, but you're stuck. You're stuck with the two of swords. Stuck. Completely stuck, Libras. Get out your head and get some advice here. This could be your person as well. Any messages here? I know I crossed the line with you. Yeah. I am afraid to contact you. All right. Anything else? Just leave love for love. I wish I could share my good news with you and it's time for me to heal now. Yeah, so it's saying it's time for you to heal. I feel like... It was my fault, but I blamed you. I feel like you're going a mile a minute this month, Aries. I mean, Libra, <laughs> Libra's here. It's time to take a step back. I don't know why I just said Aries, because Aries definitely did not pop out in this reading. All right. Could be dealing with them now. Someone could be named Aries. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, Libras. They can also destroy your perception and cloud your vision. And that's exactly what it is because I feel like my head is so like a ping pong ball <laughs> dealing, uh, you know, um, interpreting your reading right now. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment and wait. Don't rush. We have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone, Libras. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Go into isolation mode with this hermit, right? And figure this out because you're very unstable at the moment, all right? I think this card came out in Aries reading, which is why that slipped out. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, Libras. You know, rest and relax this month and open up and express how you feel to someone that you trust here, Libras, all right? Take care, guys.